Many thanks for joining us on the newsroom. I am Sinisola Adikun. Governor of Lagos State, Babaji De Sonwolu, has ordered a probe into the death of nine persons in the Ojuelegba area of the state. The victims died on Sunday after a container fell on a bus. Several persons were also injured in the accident and they are being treated in a hospital. Investigations reveal that the commercial bus was picking up passengers at the bus stop along the Ojuelegba Bridge when the vehicle lost control and fell over the side of the bridge. The victims, how, according to the agency, include four adult males, three adult females, a girl child and a boy child. The All Progressives Congress Presidential Campaign Council has raised an alarm over alleged moves by the People's Democratic Party PDP to come up with a wave of fake news to defame its presidential candidate, Bola Tinubu, barely a few weeks to the election. In a statement issued on Sunday and signed by the Director of Media and Publicity of the APC, uh, campaign Council Bayo Ononuga, the PCC, said the main opposition party had also recruited many social media actors to carry out the campaign of calumny by proxy. The party added that it considered it necessary at this point to alert Nigerians to the evil plan capable of causing disharmony, ill will and needless crisis with attendant security implications in the country. The Ad Hoc Committee on New Naira Redesign and Naira Swap Policy of the House of Representatives has rejected the Central Bank of Nigeria's 10-day extension for swapping old Naira notes. In a statement issued on Sunday, the chairman of the committee, Ado Dogua, insisted that the CBN must comply with the law of currency swaps. Reacting to the extension, Dogua rejected the new February 10 deadline, insisting that the CBN must comply with sections 20, B, 3, 4 and 5 of the CBN Act, which asks the bank to provide reasonable time for the swapping of notes. Dogua added that the committee will continue its work under his chairmanship until the demands of Nigerians were met in accordance with the laws of the land. In COVID-19 updates, a new study has discovered that about 71% of people with long COVID required medical treatment or were unable to work for six months. According to the study by the largest workers' compensation fund in New York, about 18% of patients most of whom were younger than 60, had still not returned to work more than a year after their initial infection. The U.S.-based researchers estimate that the condition is present in 10% of the 651 million COVID-19 cases that have been documented worldwide. In business, the Economic Community of West African States Regional Electricity Regulatory Authority, IRECA, has approved key guidelines for the development of the sub-regional power market. Chairman Herrera Koku Tutsu said this when he visited Kuyang, Chairman Sunon Asogli Power Plant in Greater Accra region in Ghana. Tutsu said the authority was committed to protecting the interest of investors and participants in the region's electricity market adding that it would ensure profitable investments in the industry. United Kingdom's Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has reached 100 days in 10 Downing Street this week, doubling the duration of Liz Truss's short term. But having stabilized panicky financial markets after the calamitous Truss tenure, Sunak has little to celebrate as double-digit inflation is fueling a winter of misery for many in Britain. On Wednesday, the day before his mini-anniversary, up to half a million workers will escalate a rolling series of strikes to shut down schools, railways and other public sectors. Sunak faces a mountainous challenge as he beats to emulate Conservative leader John Major's surprise win over Labour in 1992. In sports, English Premier League side Bonmouth are reportedly plotting a late move for Nigeria International and Fenerbahce winger Bright Osai Samuel with Crystal Palace also interested in the former QPR superstar. According to the reports, the Cherries are eyeing a dramatic move for the Nigerian winger with Fenerbahce demanding £12 million for their star player following an impressive year in Turkey. Prime League Premier League interest in the wing back has spiked the recent days, with Fenerbahce recently announcing that Palace had made an offer to bring Osai Samuel back to London. That's the latest on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching.